What's that, 181, 181.2 Celsius, 358. Just like Mirror. Notice the placement of the Velcro tabs. Just line it up with your larger reflectors like that. All right, here it is with all of them. Yeah, there it is at the top. 191.6, 376 Fahrenheit, 191.6 Celsius. It's going to go down pretty quick, though. I'm shading it. And don't worry about it catching on fire, by the way. That's got to go 450. It's got to be above 450 Fahrenheit for that to happen. It won't get that hot. At the absolute best, we might push 400, but that's as high as these things really ever get. So here's the basic oven. We got the eight and a half by 11 piece of glass with the little handle and the cup hook. We got the 3 8 inch wood dowel around the top so the glass will fit right in. And then we got the bigger box. So all you gotta do, drop that on there and then we'll drop it in with the insulation. Other than that, just the reflective mylar on it and we're set. That's the whole thing. Now just put cardboard strips in, the sides and the top and bottom. To apply this, I'm just doing the four corners of the flap and then going around the edge and then one line down the middle and that's it for each one. That's the whole deal. 100% done now. hundred percent silicone cock I checked into five or six glues this one's by far the best doesn't shrink at all and it's a very strong glue I tried it on cardboard and wood a couple of days ago just some scrap pieces and I can't even rip it off but with all the other glues like the Elmer's and a lot of other things it just rips right off
That is the whole deal. Right there. That's it. By the way, the surface of this is actually pretty tough. I mean, you can't use the scrubbing pads like this or steel wool or anything. That'll scratch it. But just a plain cellulose sponge like this or a microfiber cloth, those work great. I've used that a ton of times, and it's perfect. Just don't use this. This mylar, by the way, is very tough. It's a lot tougher than tinfoil. Like if you take a piece of this and grab it, one hand on each end and pull it, it won't rip. You can't rip it like a, in strips, and you can't rip it just by pulling it. It's super, super strong. You can pull at it like that as hard as you can, and you won't rip it. It's impossible practically to rip. Same with this. You can't tear it. It'll wrinkle if you do that, but it's like impossible to tear. Super strong. There's just a quick shot to show you how when you're done, you just fold the inner flaps in and fold the outer flaps in. They all fold together. Notice the angle on the reflectors, by the way. That's almost the perfect angle. You want it to be super steep like that. None of this 45 degree angle stuff or even 60 or the sun's just going to bounce, generally speaking, straight across or just a little bit down. It really needs to be super steep. Hey, so if you're thinking about building this, here's just a quick rundown or a few tips to get you going with it. One, it's 3 8 inch square wood dowel just glued in with Elmer's glue inset a little below the bottom there just enough so the glass can lay flat and the flap can be closed without stress on the flap or anything. The glass itself is just from a document frame, eight and a half by 11, like dollar store document frame, you know, for high school, college diplomas, things like that. I just went with single pane because double and triple always seems to block too much light, even if it's just clear glass, so just go with the single. To be able to handle the glass, you're gonna to wanna to put some insulated material on it. I just went with a little scrap piece of dowel and a little cup hook in it like that. Make sure to inset that down from the top too. So when you want to pack this up, you can just flip this around, leave the glass in there, and fold the reflectors down on it. Notice I went with the aluminum foil instead of the black paint. Lots of reasons for that, but basically I'm finding that the aluminum foil and the black paint are pretty much equal. If anything, you get little higher temps in these box cookers with the aluminum foil. Plus you got the added advantage of if there's any spillage of the food, it helps protect the cardboard, and you don't have to worry about paint fumes or paint chips. So there's that. In terms of the mylar, notice first of all, don't cut it all the way to the edge, leave a gap. That's just so you can fold these in again and it doesn't crinkle up or get ruined or ripped off of there when you close it. And remember to use the little Velcro tabs in between. Notice how you can set it just where you want it and then it'll just spring right back if you bump it or there's wind or anything. I use like one little one there and two or three on these and cut a little area so that you're not putting the Velcro right on the mylar. Most important thing though is the mylar and gluing it in. Use 100% silicone caulk or some other glue that doesn't shrink at all when it dries. But I tried like five different things and experiments on just pieces of uh, cardboard and the only thing that really worked well that I could find was 100% silicone caulk. It doesn't shrink at all when it dries, so that means this won't wrinkle up at all. Don't use Elmer's glue, it totally wrinkles and it just peels off. And rubber cement won't, um, won't wrinkle, but it just peels off. So go with something like that. Only other thing you can think of is the green fiber insulation I used. You can use that, or a close second is just crumpled up newspaper, or junk mail, or like computer paper, you know, something like that. It's just about as good, but I wanted to go top end, and I had it, so I went with the green fiber insulation. One or two inches all the way around, and an inch or two underneath the inner box. But it's pretty cool. That's about it. And then when you want to fold this up, it's just Velcroed here, so you just fold those four in. Well, first you flip the glass over, then you fold those in. If you have the optional reflectors on the outside, just peel them off the Velcro on the outside, put them in, and then fold the outer flaps in. 
I haven't done this yet, but I might actually mount a handle on this, just like a rope handle or some. Probably glue on a piece of wood, like a little 2x2 two two or 1x4 or something on the side, and then just a uh, couple of little hooks with some rope or something. But the whole thing only weighs 5 pounds, so it's really light as a feather. Oh, and one other thing. Don't use the Mylar. Don't be tempted to use the Mylar inside the oven because it's sort of a plastic-based material, I think, and you don't want something plastic inside the oven, you know, with the food and everything and the fumes.